What's going on guys? We are down in Fort Worth, Texas at the Legacy Home Show. They actually, the show ended yesterday, so I got full access. <laughs> but anyway, so this is a three bedroom, two bath, 1,678 square foot home. Humongous, look at that. How cool is that? I love the front of this home, how it just kind of comes together. Oh my gosh. And then you have the shake shingle siding up here on the front really nice let me get you over here so you can see it man oh man and it turned out to be an absolutely beautiful day i'm super excited about it and i'm also i just wanted to say to legacy homes thank you very much for letting me come down here and do this and be a part of the show that was so much fun definitely uh an experience for me so coming around to the back of this home you do have your back door right here and then as far as the siding goes on this side of the home, it's T111 siding, which is something I've been seeing a lot in kind of like the south southwest area, not necessarily like southeast, but like some of these drier climate areas. And of course, you can see on this other home over here, they did go with vinyl siding. So there's a whole bunch of different types of uh, siding options for you to choose from. Cute little port window back here leading into uh, your master bathroom. And then, oh, we got trapped. Now we're untrapped. So we'll go around to the rest of this home. As you can see, it's trimmed out in green around the windows and everything, but beautiful. Wait till you see the inside. Coming up onto the porch, a very large porch. Really nice size. And again, you got this shake shingle siding right here, which is really cute, done up in green. Now, as far as the model number, I'll leave that all down in the description for you. So if you are interested in this home, you can definitely check that out. Ooh, that's nice. I haven't, I haven't been in this one yet, actually. Um, I think yesterday it was super crowded in this. Like, there was a lot of people in and out of this home when I came in. So this is, uh, I'll turn you back around so you can see. This is your entrance when you first come in this home. Beautiful windows and doors. And then that opens up into your living room. You have your nice electric fireplace right here with the stone surround. Really cute. Really a big area. I love how, and then you do have this tape and textured wall too. But I love how the home kind of comes to a point at the front. I think that's super neat. And it, look how big that dining room table is right there. Really cool. Definitely, ooh, it's like a planed log. Man, I like this one. No wonder it was jam packed in here. All right, we'll get to the island in just a second. Let's go down this side. So you do have a little media area right here. You and the kids can either work or do some homework. And then you have these beautiful white weathered cabinets. Plenty of countertop space. And then you have your stove and range hood, which is really nice. You have the bullnose countertops and also the backsplash area as well. Very nice. Ooh. I like the doors right here. This is the first walk in pantry I've seen in the Legacy home. So. Very nice, I can get all the way in here. So, nice size walk-in pantry. And I love how it's in the corner right here. We've seen a couple of manufacturers do stuff like that, but it doesn't have the sleek double door look. So, I'm a fan. Then you have your refrigerator with the freezer on top and the refrigerator on the bottom. Now, of course, appliances and fixtures and stuff are something that you can uh, exchange and upgrade and all that type of stuff so keep that in mind as we walk around this home and then coming around your island a lot of seating space I love the stone front right here I think it gives it a really nice appearance and then this sink my goodness a little giant rack up here 
I don't know. <laughs> There's, I don't know what I would do with this sink. It looks really nice though. With your stainless fixtures, and then you do have a dishwasher right here, which is nice. All right, coming from the kitchen down the hall, you open up into this like hallway, common area. To the left, you have another media space and some more cabinets. Let's go to the right over here, which is your utility room. You have your furnace right here, your washer dryer hookups, and then over in the corner, you that might even be a good enough space for a freezer. So if any of you are looking for that, I know for a while that was a big thing. Everybody kept mentioning space for freezers. So, but nice size utility room. And then right out of that, oh, we're not going in there yet. <laughs> that was your master bedroom. Dang it, Tim, don't you look at the floor plans? Sometimes. <laughs> so this is your uh, first of the three bedrooms. And your closet. Well, that goes pretty far back there too. And then coming out of that bedroom, you have a big old linen closet right here. And then you come into your first full bathroom. Let's see, there we go, it's got the fan going. All right, so you do have a single vanity in here. And then you have a medicine cabinet. This one's actually a really cute home. I actually like this one a lot. You have your toilet, huge tub again, with the removable shower head, 30 inch tubs. That's one thing I absolutely despise is super narrow tubs. It's like when I stay in a hotel room, you know, they always have those like really small tubs. Of course, I'm a shower guy, so I'm not gonna sit in the tub, but still, I need room to kind of Spread out, I can't be like squished. So this is your second bedroom and the closet in here, super tall. And that's pretty, pretty decent size. On either side, you got a lot of room. All right, now I teased you with it already a little bit before. So now I'm gonna take you into this beautiful master bedroom. Absolutely massive. And I love the double doors going into the bathroom. Super cool looking. Ooh, this one's got a tub, yes. So when you enter into the bathroom, you have a single vanity right here, a medicine cabinet. And then you have another single vanity uh, opposite that again with a medicine cabinet. So you have a couple different, uh, you have two vanities in here. You do have your water closet over here, which has your toilet. Really nice size. And then this tub is absolutely huge. I'm six foot. I could probably definitely sit in here. And I love how your, uh, your fixture is over in the corner. Opposite that, you do have a standalone shower with the removable shower head. And then finally coming into your massive master closet. So really nice size, plenty of room to get in here. And the ceilings in here, this is coming right down the marriage line, so they're also really tall. All right guys, let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you want any more information on legacy homes or to find a local uh, legacy home dealer in your area, I'll leave all that information down in the description below. If you wanna check out another beautiful legacy home, click on this video right here. And as always, my name is Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.